Hey everyone, hi Nick. Uh, back again today with another project share. Um, this one is my take on the vintage beach themed uh, journal. Um, seeing a lot of these on YouTube and so forth and since it's uh, coming on to summer and beach weather I thought I would um, give it a try. A um, little bit out of my comfort zone but I really had a good time with this one. Um, the uh, printables I used are from uh, Seneca Pond Craft and I don't remember exactly. I think it's called for some reason Making Waves seems to be sticking in my head. It could be, it could be totally wrong but I know it's Seneca Pond Craft and it's the only beach themed um, kit that she offers. Um, I've used a couple of her kits in the past but not as a whole journal I've used them as more as embellishments and just use bits and pieces so this is the first time I've used one of her kits as the entire journal and um, I really liked it it was very generous um, lots of pages lots of ephemera and um, I think it made a, I think it made a really pretty journal um, so this is the cover it's made out of chipboard uh, covered with this kind of a sky blue um, cardstock, which I thought went really well with the kit. And I've embellished the uh, cover with some um, this little bits of cheesecloth, uh, some um, some shells, and there's a shark tooth there um, off that Fred gave me. Um, he collected these on the. He gave me a whole bag of. Give me a whole bag of shells and <clears throat> shells, me, shells and shark teeth we collected on the beach years ago in Florida. So I thought it was a bag of goodies here, and I just kind of pick through and just put a few on the put a few on the cover. Um, I did the spine with the craft card, and I used the cotton string this kind. It's right here. It's just just kind of white cotton string. But not the crochet cotton because this isn't dead white. So I use that. And that's the back. And the closure is the Tim Holtz uh, hitch post. The gold one but not the not a shiny gold. It's kind of a uh, antique gold. And on the back is an eyelet. And then I took that same cotton string, and what I did was I pulled out a great big long piece of it, and then I doubled it over like that. And then if you hold on to the loose end, the two loose ends, cut ends, and then you start twisting from the loop, and you just go round and round and round. A lot, a lot of times until it gets really tight and you can barely pull your finger out and then you fold it in half and you pull your finger out and when it's tight enough it will twist up on itself and make a cord like that and that's what I that's what I did for the for the closure so then I tied a so then I just I just tied a knot in the loose end threaded it th up through the eyelet and then just wrapped it around. I tied it around the hitch post. That's what I did for the closure. So I kind of thought make this look like it looked like a, you know, like a boat hitch, like a piling or something. So to open it, you can just push down and just pop it off if you want to leave it there, or you can just untie it, whichever. Uh, measurements are it's a little bit more boxy shape than I usually make, but that's how it came. So it is seven by five and three quarters with a just over it's just over just over two inch spine. So let's go inside. I've inked everything with use something different this time. I used weathered wood this time uh, to sort of um, kind of keep along with the 
beach theme of, that it looks sort of like driftwood. So that's what I use to ink everything. Front and back inside covers I just left blank. And I stayed right in this, these colors, the blue, the you know, tan, the off-white, off-white, the sandy colors. Um, that's all the colors, that's all the colors that I used in here. I didn't use anything else. I stayed right with, right with those colors that were with the, with the kit. I got my nails done blue. Um, all the printables are backed with, um, some, uh, grid paper. It's just printed on the back. <clears throat> this paper is coffee dyed. It's not real crackly today because it's a little bit humid. So my paper doesn't crackle very much. Um, the pocket here with a, a large journaling card. And these are backed with the grid paper as well. It's all parts of the kit. It's going to give me a hard time already this morning. Well, put this back in after. Um, doily. And this is an envelope. And I used these two little tags here, and then I also I did a stacking of of tags of different of different sizes. I saw this on um, a Sue Olson does this quite frequently, and I was watching some of her uh, new uploads the other day, and, and I thought that was a I thought I would give that a try because I really like it. And I cut this open on the side, and a little card, which is upside down. It's a little card um, from a different seller. I slipped it blank on the back. And this is a, a driver's log um, that uh, Fred brought me from work. Still half page. And a large tag. And these are, these jars are from the kit. I topped all the tags with more of the cotton string. There's no stamping in here. I have a side pocket with a large tag. This has a hammock on it. This makes a double tuck since the doily is wrapped around. You have here, and you can go into the pocket. I have a top loading pocket which I embellished with a little bit of cheesecloth, um, a little tag from the a little tag from the kit, and some uh, flat back pearls. And inside, you just have a couple of little tags, cards. Just a large index card. Um, this kit came with tabs, so I did include the tabs in this one. Just another, another little journal card, which is hitched, with, attached with one of the little tiny Tim Holtz paper clips. I did use, I used um, some of my craft packing paper in um, each signature. I used um, so two pages in each signature. A doily, craft paper. Um, this is a large envelope. I followed one of Yvonne's um, tutorials on making pockets out of some of your uh, extra envelopes, and I thought that was a really, really great idea because I have, like all of us, I have about a gazillion plain envelopes that I haven't coffee dyed, so this is a way to use them. I thought without coffee dyeing, I inked it all around the edges with, with the um, weathered wood, and I just followed her followed her tutorial. It was a great tutorial, really easy to do, and makes some great pockets. So this has a this from the kit, and then I also made some large tags to go behind, just with some coffee dyed cardstock. A lot of places to journal. It's just some yellow uh, lined paper that Fred gave me. Gave me a pad of that the other day. 
There's the center. I just tied them off with the signatures off with a bow. I have a side loading pocket with the same um, cardstock, the blue cardstock that I used for the cover, and this is one of the, my Martha Stewart um, edge punches. Just went, cut the strip, and then just went on both sides with the edge punch. And there's another one of these large, large journal spots in there. spot use it as a I think they're intended as a frame picture and I put that with one of my little prima clips it says happy so who isn't happy when they're at the beach it's gonna be a beach day here what they're saying on the weather other part of that index card. Another top loading pocket which I just embellished. I braided some of the um, white string, um, tied uh, bowline knots at the at either end and these are a couple of um, different shells. These I found that came like this just on some um, clear I guess you'd call it. I was uh, digging around in some um, costume jewelry, a case of it that uh, my mother had inherited from her mother and her great aunts, and I found this uh, string of shells. So I can just I just pull just pull them off one at a time. They just they just come off. They're just strung on there, and I just pull them off. And I was looking for buttons and pins and things that I could use for closures, but I found these shells. And, ah, these are perfect. So that's where those came from. And then they are vintage. And there's another one of these little frames and another tag. Another tag, and this one I put uh, little journal spots on there. Other half of the driver log. It's another part of the um, envelope, and I used one of the journal spots to make a pocket. Um, it just has a shape tag and a little journal spot with a little vintage bathing beauty. And I forgot to cut this one open before I cut the envelope open before I put it in there, so I didn't. I just used the flap on the other side. Um, embellished with some grain ribbon, some uh, more cheesecloth, and a little ephemera from the kit, and then I just put another one of those shaped tags in the, just in the flap there. And there's another one of, another set of the shaped, uh, stacked uh, tags. And there's the first First signature, not too chunky. There's another large tag with one of the um, jars from the kit. There's a bit of book page. Another top loading pocket. This is just embellished with a journal spot from the kit and then I just fold it in half to make a little book. And some of the one of these big journal spots in it. I have a glassine bag that I just topped with some grow grain ribbon that I just rumpled. Just put the double stick tape down first and then just lay it on there and kind of just pucker it up as you go. And I put a little journal spot in the bag. Another one of these large journal spots. 
some uh, ledger paper, some more yellow note paper, another side pocket with a couple scraps of some designer paper, just that I just inked up. Some more craft paper. Some cardstock. Another large tag. And the center again. There's another envelope. I used some cloud paper on here and I had this little uh, chipboard. Um, camera that I got um, in a kit um, from uh, Rachel. So thank you for that. And there's another one of these little jars and a large tag in the pocket from the envelope. And then another big tag in the back. A little pocket came with the kit and the little tags inside. And the side pocket, and there's also a tuck here. And it's the other half of the glassine bag, and that's open, that's empty. It has one of the pockets on it with another these little tags inside. And the top loading pocket, which is just with a scrap of that punched uh, blue cardstock. And this is a vintage pearl button and tied off with some more of the white string. Just some two journal spots inside and blank on the back. Bathing Beauties. That's the second signature. It's another one of these little pockets. It says Beachcomber. The White House. Another uh, side tuck here and here. It's another side loading pocket with three of the vintage shells. Uh, the spot inside. Some more of that cardstock, some more graph paper. Another side loading pocket. And this one has some cheesecloth and one of the jars. Let's open here. We have a, another um, paper bag, and that's empty. Have another little pocket with a journal spot in it, and that is used to embellish a top loading pocket, which has two more journal spots inside. Another top pocket, some grow grain ribbon, cheesecloth, some ephemera, three flat back pearls, and one of the vintage shells. And inside we have another one of these and a large tag.
another little pocket, and this one has another one of these books. the last envelope. And we have a tag here and another large tag at the back. Last page and the back cover. So there you have it. Fairly simple. Um, but uh, Look at that, gotta use some stronger glue. That's not good. Well, gonna have to gonna have to do some work on that, I guess. Um let's see. Yep, that's it. Um okay, this will be um listed on my Etsy. I'm gonna try to get that listed right now. Uh, so pop on over there and check it out and uh See if um, there's anything else there that you might like. And um, if you have any questions, um, please don't hesitate to ask. And I guess that's, guess that's it. I'll see you uh, next time. And everybody have a great day and a great week. Bye.